Oh, is it time for the cutscene? All right, I'm ready. I think we need the venti hat to celebrate this. Always show up at the opera with the appropriate headwear, y'all. All right. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm presentable. Oh, there she is. Wank, wank. Vibrato technique always gets me, it's fascinating. She amended the story. I'm very emotional. That was very good. Hey, <laughs> Flood. That was a lot. Um, I would already watched that before too, but now that I know the full context of the story, I'm like, shit. <laughs> it hits harder, man. I feel like it's it's moments like this when I really mourn um, my lack of Chinese proficiency. Like I wish I could appreciate like archaic Chinese and like opera style, right? A little more. <laughs> Beyond just the beautiful delivery and the writing of this particular story, the first time I watched this <laughs> on YouTube, I fucking like ugly cried. I was just, I think I was literally just having breakfast or some shit and it showed up on my YouTube feed and I was like, let me watch this. And I was just, I was like crying before my like 9am meeting at work because for example, like when Coco came out, like I cried through that too. And I think it's because you realize that like, that there's an entire a culture and a community and a diaspora out there that is probably like, like resonating. Seeing your culture on the big stage is not one to be dismissed. That's a major impactful <laughs> experience. And I think I was just like overcome with gratitude in that moment, the first time I watched this video that uh, that, that, that moment had come. Like I was always the kind of person that would like laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, people are like, oh, like representation is important. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, I guess, sure, whatever. <laughs> and then it happens to you, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> right? Yang Yang Lao Shi, or should it be Yang Yang Xian Shen? 
Big appreciate, big appreciate. There's a lot of complicated feelings all tangled up in that as someone who is um, like an American born Chinese person, right? Sure, I grew up watching Beijing opera. I didn't understand a single fucking bit of it. This is this is a whole swath of Chinese culture that I'm never going to understand because I never, I was never, I was never put through the, the formal Chinese schooling system. I didn't go through learning like Wen Yin Wen, right? Like I don't know any of this stuff and so it's moments like this where you are simultaneously celebrating like this moment of representation and like the incredible impact that it has from a cultural standpoint globally and also mourning the fact that like you can't appreciate it to the full extent of like what you could have experienced and it's the in-betweenness of that that is like very painful <laughs> man it's a complicated feeling i like to <laughs> i wish i could describe it better but I thought that the second time watching it, I wouldn't feel it as much, but I certainly do. I certainly do. That diaspora mood, guys. I like, I did, you just have to live it. <laughs> oh boy, that was a lot. I'm sorry. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. I just, I just, I just want to communicate the vast amount of, of awe that I, that a lot of us must have experienced the first time we saw this. I hope it also communicates, I think, why a lot of people, um, didn't take it well, right? When like certain Genshin personalities were making fun of Yunjin's opera voice. I can understand finding it silly and hard to understand at first, right? But taking it into the land of like, we're gonna make fun of this now is definitely, I think that's taking it too far. I hope that this, this moment in the story communicated all of that, that the full body of, of all, <laughs> everything I just word dumped onto you guys. I hope that it, it makes more sense now, right? Because it was so beautifully delivered. This performance wouldn't be the same without the Chinese dub. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I'm glad that they did not try to translate the Beijing opera, right? Like no matter what, no matter which language you played this game in, you would have heard that in Beijing opera. I think that's pretty fucking amazing. I love that they stood their ground for that. I've been really into um, a, a Disney Plus show or actually it's a natural National Geographic show. Uh, Gordon Ramsay Uncharted, has anyone heard of it? Where he like goes around to like lots of different cultures, many of which are indigenous, but like lots of different cultures around the world and like learns about their culinary practices and like their foraging and hunting practices. Shows like this are my favorite because you realize like the, the vastness of the world. I'm gonna admit it, right? Like there are lots of moments watching that show where like the indigenous tribal, members will like do something to like welcome Gordon and I'm watching it and I'm like that's silly like it makes me want to laugh right so which is why I like didn't I didn't really hate on the people that were like laughing at Yunjin's opera at first because I'm like I understand like it's foreign to you it's not you know something you're used to I understand that it seems silly to you at first but like even with just the tiniest bit of open-mindedness I think it's very easy to perceive like why an entire culture would find it more significant than the silly thing that you're seeing. I just, I appreciate that there are so many methods, whether it's the Gordon Ramsay Uncharted show or like Genshin Impact. I, I like that there are so many options and ways for us to like discover the different cultures of the world now and really appreciate like the, the depth and the width and the breadth of the, of the human experience. No matter how diverse our friend groups and our communities and how much we get to travel in our lives, that no matter what, we can only really experience like a small tiny sliver of, of the breadth of human experience. I like that a lot. You feel like Mihoyo actually did a good job adapting Chinese opera to the modern music composition. That is another thing, isn't it? They meshed it like compositionally. It wasn't purely Beijing opera. It wasn't traditional. They had like electric guitar in there, right? And like per percussive instruments. It was it was very interesting. If they wrote everything in the original Chinese opera, probably wouldn't reach a larger audience. It's true, Probe. And I think that's what also made me really emotional the first time I watched Zhong Li's character demo because his they shredded an arhu. I never thought that was possible. They took an arhu and they shredded it for his soundtrack. I was sitting there like my mind was fucking blown. I didn't know that's possible. The way that the the fusion in the music makes like inherently, you know, moves us towards a world of mutual understanding. I, I that's beautiful to me. I love that a lot. I love that. We're, I, I'm so excited for like. Well, how many more nations are we going to get? Four? We have four more nations of like mind-blowing soundtracks and like cultural narration and storytelling. I'm just like so excited. I'm so hyped. And I think that's that really gets to the heart of like why I love this game so fucking much. I feel like there's so much potential and I'm really excited to see how Vihoyo delivers on it um, in, in the years to come. We have a really long timeline ahead of us. That was another thing that got me! Where she was like, oh, I'll modify the, the opera story. And then Shouhe was like, oh, don't do that. 
Like I I like the ideal version. And so she didn't modify the core story. She she did an add-on instead. That's so that makes me so soft. She was like, okay, I won't touch the ideal version of you that's depicted in this story. But I'll add on like the 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 beautiful you things the beautiful things that are truthful that you did after that. And like the friendships that you made and the home that you found. Like, oh that's so gorgeous! I love that a lot. Okay, okay, my turn, my turn. My turn. <clears throat> Never gonna give you up, I'm never gonna let you down, I'm never gonna run around and- Oh shit. Desert you, I'm never gonna make you cry, I'm never gonna say goodbye, I'm never gonna run to the light and hurt you, I'm never gonna give, never gonna give, give you up. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Let's go look at the Jade Chamber. 